Open Light is a love story. It's about the mystery of the human spirit. This play is not afraid of being both romantic and sexy. It's a love story. It's a roller coaster. But it's seen through different viewpoints. I used to work as a support worker um, for a few years, um, mostly with uh, people suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's, and I wanted to look into what most people don't look into when they think about dementia, which is um, the spirituality of it and what and what actually happens to emotions and feelings and positive emotions and feelings. For me, Ingrid is a, a wonderful free spirit. Um, what I like about this play is that um, her spirit is, is there even when dementia seems to dominate proceedings, you, you have a sense of her spirit. I have to dislocate my mind in some way from what it normally is. Sometimes that means just concentrating on a specific detail uh, which might suddenly fascinate me or become something else, like, like a colour. And it deals with one woman's descent into dementia but it also deals with the family and how they cope with that. And what Alex does is, he, as the writer, he focuses on the love story between this woman and her husband. And as she descends into dementia, does the love stay there? So the play explores what happens to love as we get older, and what happens to love if you can't say, I love you anymore, or even you can't recognise the person that you once knew, that you once loved. So Alzheimer's Society is the leading charity for people with dementia and their carers. Um, there are over 670,000 people in the UK currently caring for someone with dementia. Um, and those people need support as well. Um, they're obviously caring for their loved one on a daily basis. So there are actually 800,000 people in the UK currently living with dementia. Because of the way Ingrid thinks, bits of the play recur a number of times in different forms. Rather like a poem, I think. I think that perhaps it's as much a dramatic poem as it is a, a, a realistic narrative play. And it can affect people um, kind of under the age of 65 as well. There are in fact 16,000 people below the age of 65 that have had a diagnosis of dementia. It takes in a film noir feel, there's music, there's huge amounts of movement, laughter, joy, and at the centre of it, a really, really beautiful love story. I really wanted to explore the idea of sexuality, not just between two people of a certain age, but also between two people who are who have this obstacle. It's fantastic to see um, dementia portrayed in Rainbow at Night and um, through Ingrid having frontotemporal dementia. Uh, for far too long, dementia. Um, has been in the shadows and there's, a, there's been a huge stigma around the condition and people haven't wanted to be open uh, and honest in talking about um, a condition which does affect so many people. The Rainbow at Night uh, is the perfect example of what we do, or hope to do, I should say, at first draft. It's um, a piece of new writing that started as a short story. It's, it's about life, it's, it's about people's vitality. What manages to do is take us inside in Grid's brain and show that inside she is free. It's full of energy and colours and vibrance. A rom-com about the power of love, so it's, yeah, it's basically like a power ballad by Celine Dion with a sense of humour.